Mmm, yes, and welcome back to the walkthrough, everyone. Mmm, yeah, I thought I would do something different here. Yeah, yeah, I'll just say, yee, hello, anyway. This is Shepard, whatever the heck this game is. To move the cursor, to let the dog bark. I guess I'm supposed to be corralling sheep, I assume. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be one of those 3D space dealio things. So... Okay, the cursor is the bone, I guess. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, and it... No, it's a pointer-based thing, so this wor should work pretty well. All right, sheep. You're going in the pen, whether you like it or not. Well, it's more like a barn than a pen, because we're already in a pen here. And we've got Winona here hurting the sheep. But I wonder where Applejack is. It's the biggest mystery here. All right, you guys, or girls are going in. I can't tell your gender, you're far too fluffy. But that doesn't matter to me, you're only worth points to me, as well as wool. <laughs> so, I think that arrow indicates where the sheep are supposed to be going, or, like, I'm supposed to position Minona there to be behind the sheep, and man, you guys are not going to get that joke. <laughs> Come on. Sheepy. Maybe I shouldn't be aiming for so many sheep at once. Only go for one at a time, perhaps. Why? Oh, I see. You have to face the sheep that you want to bark at. It isn't a, a thing based on your position. It's based on where your puppy is facing. You get away from the wall. Oh, I guess I could push them. That works, too. Uh, this is really exciting gameplay right here. <laughs> I find it much more fun herding goats in Twilight Princess than here. How many sheep? How many sheep? I got got a bunch of sheep there right at the end. <laughs> and I got a whopping 80 points with the high score of 2,000. I assume that if you manage to get all 10 sheep in there, you'll get like another round or something like that. I didn't really have all that much fun there, so I'm going to leave that up to you if you want to try <laughs> Or maybe you get like a time bonus or something for getting all 10 sheep in there or something like that. Simon says, I knew there would be a nunchuck. I knew it. Because it's, you know, raise whatever hand is holding whatever flag, I think. Left flag, right flag, just as I thought. You are the monkey sitting at the TV set. Alright, I have faith that this one is going to work. Here we go! Red and white. Ready? I must do what the doctor says. What the doctor orders. Wait, what? Oh, I see. It's red flag up and white flag down. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> that was a little too quick. I, I say I don't like to play games more than once, otherwise I'll never get through them. But I didn't get a single point. <laughs> I get the idea now, so it's... Whatever flag and then whatever direction he wants you to put it. Oh, I'll tell him where to put it. <laughs> Bring it on, Doctor! Red up! What? What do you mean? I, I, red flag is left hand. I put up the nunchuck. I did not make a mistake there. <laughs> I swear I didn't put my right hand up at all. One more try. I'm being far too generous with this game. <laughs> Concentrate on not twitching unless I need to. Up! 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 No! I was only using my left. I swear it. Unless for whatever reason... The nunchuck controls the white flag? <laughs> that I would highly doubt, but let's just... One more time, one more time. Which flag is which, according to this? See, right hand is that. It's... Yeah, that that's... I'm, I'm, no, I'm not gonna try it again. It's... I was doing it right all along. I'm, I'm not going to mess with this anymore. <laughs> it's not that hard to raise a hand, people. Mm hmm. This might actually work. 
I was just looking at the control scheme there and imagining it and hoping to God it's gonna work. Okay. So, pull a ball and fling it. Yeah, it works. It actually works. Oh, I was way off there. <laughs> I can't believe it, I've missed playing games at work. <laughs> and we're shooting cans. This is violent against aluminum. Wait, can I hit that UFO? I probably can hit that UFO. Yes, I can hit the UFO and it gives me points. You could probably hit that balloon in the background as well. Or one of the balloons in the background. I would like to see what the balloons in the background are worth. Eh, you can really rapid fire these suckers. <laughs> And you can actually keep your adjustment by just leaving your hand at the same place that it was at the last time. I mean, at the last point. So this makes it exceptionally easy, you know, that you don't have to pull back each and every time. Wow! This is an actual intuitive game! I, I am astonished! I am pleased by this! And it also makes you sh pick and choose what you want to aim at for the most points. I am pleased! I, I am seriously happy with that! <laughs> Maybe it's because I just haven't been playing, you know, a game that controls all that well for a little while now. <laughs> I'll take what I can get, dang it! Next game! Bring it on! Space Monkey Attack, I have never played this before, apparently. Shoot and defeat enemies. I can do barrel rolls. Tilt to move, A and B button to shoot. That seems pretty simple. <laughs> Hopefully it's as simple as it sounds. So I can actually get something decent going here. So do I work in a 3D space? No, I... Oh, it's like Space Invaders, the way that they're set up. Alright, so... It doesn't matter if you use A or B, apparently it all does the same, so I'll be using my thumb for the A button as it's my dominant finger of course so I can get some rapid fire going and no you can't hold the button I've been I tried that a few times that was when you seen the pause in the fire and I assume that you can't get hit you know as indicated by that life counter at the upper right corner there and I'm trying to ships don't I was gonna say they look they look like something but yet they don't look like something. <laughs> oh, and they're shooting at me! They're shooting at me! Oh, that was a kamikaze ship. And it appears I have a shield now to protect myself temporarily, and I didn't see that bullet. It was sort of camouflaged in with the star field there, and I, that invincibility does not last very long at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to take advantage of the invincibility period, but that doesn't work at all. <laughs> Yeah, those bullets really, really blend in with the star field. That's not too good of a thing, I have to say. I think they should have taken away the layer of stars in the background just for this and left the um, beams of light or something like that. And the multicolor lights could have taken out the stars. But otherwise, this game works pretty well. I think I could get the hang of it if I played it more because of the fact that, you know, my eyes would eventually get used to recognizing between the bullets and the stars in the background you know it's one of those things that you build a tolerance in your vision to be able to automatically pick up on things like that anyway spaceship landing huh <laughs> i have no idea so it's only there's no nunchuck for spaceship landing but well okay so let's hold it upright tilt to move and try to land on the thing. Whoa! Whoa! I guess I'm supposed to try and de base my landing on... Oh, I see. You work in a... by tilting in all directions, including towards you, to try and land on the target. Okay, this is... this is gonna be pretty easy, actually. Yeah, I think I can manage this. Watch the shadow, watch the shadow. Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, I see. You gotta... gotta finesse this. That was... What? That's it? There's no multiple rounds or anything? That's... It? <laughs> I was gonna say that I approve of this game because I was expecting, you know, there to be more of it. You know, I was expecting there to be like obstacles, like asteroids or something like that to get in your way, but that's it? Really? 
Fine, I don't approve of that game. <laughs> Treasure Submarine. Um, this is controlled almost exactly like the last game, <laughs> except that I can move up with the uh, D-pad. And hmm. now, what was the B button again? Search for treasure buried in the ground or wall. Okay, so A to search, B to move forward, and then up and down, move up and down. Otherwise, the control stick is just, I mean, the Wii remote itself to tilt is just to move. But how, where, what am I, I mean, where am I searching for things? I assume, as I said, it's in the wall or the ground. So, and I also assume that I gotta use my radar there. Our, oh, 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 I'm getting something. I'm getting something. Oh, the, the arm comes out of the front. Okay. <laughs> so how exactly do I tell? Can I dig there and see if I can get something? Okay, I got the concept. I got the concept. Just gotta look around here and wait for it to buzz rapidly and then whip out your arm. And apparently there's only 10 treasure chests. Okay. This is a, this game could last five minutes. Preposterous! Wait, what are these? Oh, yeah, oh, you can collect them for more points, I guess. Uh, and I I noticed that it was beeping, but I didn't really get much of a lock on on something, unless it was. Uh, it's it's beeping around here. Is it closer to the ground? Is it near a wall? Wait, 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 wait! wait. I think it's I think it's closer to. The ground. Is it moving or something? <laughs> wait, wait! Try here! Try here, baby! No, I didn't think so. No. Where is. Try there! Try there! Why am I moving backwards? I shouldn't be moving backwards. Alright! I wonder why it left a flag there. Is that like to indicate where you last dug? That's not very helpful in, t you know, determining... Because <laughs> it's determined entirely by the, um, you know, where you're digging itself. Because then you would just adjust yourself and, like, why would you need to know where your last digging spot was? Unless that's determined, like, within the points that you get at the end or something like that. This controls very awkwardly, <laughs> in case you can't tell that. Uh, wait, try here. No, no, no. Maybe? Is it? Is it gonna be? No, let's go a little... Am I in the right direction? I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction. Uh, 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 I think I'm getting closer. Am I... Try here! Go, 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 go! Dig, 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 dig! Okay, starting to get the concept. Gotta be a little more careful, I guess. And... Since it said that they could be in the walls, I could... I'm, I mean, th these treasures could be pretty much anywhere, and this area is huge! <laughs> so you gotta be pretty lucky to find all ten of them within the time limit, or at least I assume you'd have to be. Because you'd have to, like, search around the perimeter, like, of the walls, and shoot... The, I mean, search the, like, pillars that are randomly strewn about the place, like that right there. And then you have to search all the floor, and... Oh my. <laughs> and I don't even know if I'm going in circles or not, I'm just searching around the area, collecting these banana tokens of sorts. They look so much like the banana coins from Don the Donkey Kong Country series. Uh, I'm, I'm close to one there, I'm close to one there. Wherever it may be. You know, I'm apparently cold. cold. Wait, 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 wait! I went like right on. I'm like right on top of it. Wait, I can go down by pressing down. Apparently, eh? Dig there, dig there, dig there. Yeah, I am pro. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not. I'm just messing around here in my commentary as usual. Ooh, dark, spooky secret area. There must be oodles upon oodles of treasure here, even though there doesn't seem to be in the slightest. But this does seem to be another entire, entirely different pathway to go through. Yeah, this place is huge! I mean, massive! I will assume, also, 
that the treasure chest would be at random locations each game, because otherwise, you know, you would just be able to memorize the locations and then just go to them instantly. So, uh, unless I'm wrong, and they would put them in the same spots each and every time, but that doesn't seem very, very logical. Whoa, 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 ah, ah, ah. There, 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 dig, 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 we only got 17 seconds to get it, woo! All right, halfway done. Five treasure chests in ten seconds. I can do this. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I, I just like to keep a, you know, hopeful mindset. And that's the game, and I'm not going to play it again. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. It, it just took me a little while to get used to the controls. It does control okay, because it can turn pretty tight as long as you aren't uh, um, using the accelerator. And uh, there we go. <laughs> Next game, trombone. Wait, how many? How many more games are left here? <gasps> We're almost done. Oh my. Maybe I should end it off here and do these last four in the proverbial last part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.